Insider. Hi, it's Vincent, and welcome to this new episode of the Insider series. Last week, we were in Bayern, following our team attaching the 72 meters wing to its fuselage. This new airplane will be able to overcome all the technical and human challenges that the first round-the-world sort of flight is representing. So apart from the airplane, what is ready for the round-the-world flight? We are also working on the route. We currently have the mission team working on virtual flights and a second team screening the best airports and negotiating landing and takeoff authorizations. So let's try now to learn more about the route planning. Hello Gregory, so you are already traveling to different countries with André Borschberg to prepare the different legs. What are your objectives? André and I have been traveling to, um, to the countries that we will be um, stopping over. Um, the route at this point will take us from the Gulf region uh, into India, into Myanmar, uh, into China, and from there we will um, cross over the Pacific, which will be the, one of the more challenging legs, five days and five nights, then to Southern California, to the east coast of the United States, crossing the Atlantic, uh, to Southern Europe or Northern Africa, and then back to the finish line. In three weeks, we'll have the official presentation of Solar Impulse 2. Are you excited? Indeed, um, this is a super important milestone uh, for the project. Um, there are a lot of people who are excited about this. Of course, the co-founders, um, our partners are excited about this. This is like, like a t waiting for a new baby. So yes, to answer your question, we're all very, very excited. That's all for today. Thank you for following the Insider series. Don't forget that the official presentation of Sol Impulse 2 will take place on April 9th.